It's a simple life lesson we all learn at some point. Sometimes restrictions or limitations are exactly what you need to unlock true potential. Diamonds can only be made under intense pressure. So yeah, go ahead and make a Mario game where you can't jump. Let's, let's see what happens. Of course the Toad game is gonna be cute and quaint, it's Toad! No one thought the Toad spin-off game would be rated M. I mean, maybe you did, but you're a freak. Instead, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker brings all the joy of examining a diorama to a platformer. Every environment is perfectly packed for maximum exploration and discovery while usually fitting in a pretty confined space. It's kind of a marvel of level design, actually, with how perfectly it all had to be laid out to guide a player around who can walk, run, and stand still. Those are your choices. A game born out of a mechanical limitation ends up not really feeling like it's lost anything at all. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker feels like exactly the spin-off game Toad was always supposed to have. And I'm glad he finally got it. He deserved it.